Hello everyone, welcome to the Day Life Project channel. <laughs> hey, check it out guys. We got our spinach all ready to eat. So there's no more spinach there anymore. I already had chicken some out. Okay, so this is the the last spinach. It's quite still a lot. And I'll teach you guys and show you guys what I'm going to do with this. And a little update. Tomatoes are getting already orangey red. Um, everything is going well. We got um, to plant more lettuce because the lettuce are almost like we still have quite a lot. But um, everyone there, whenever people come, they always want to take a lettuce, you know, because it's really tasty. I mean, you guys have to plant things at home. You'll see the difference. Blueberries are very sweet, very nice. There's actually another one right there. Gotta take it. Blackberries also very sweet as well. Very nice as well. Um, our watermelon is becoming much, much bigger. Check it out, guys. Amazing. And uh, I want to film the rest, do a little update on all the vegetables. Still waiting for my melons to come out. Um, let's see how it goes jam squash is quite big already so yes I'm going to take the daylight and do a little video update this is just how it's going to start so stay tuned guys let's go <laughs> oh and uh, God, the water will be done by the time I finish this first little clip <laughs> okay we got the automatic um, greenhouse water system that's going to already be installed and the chicken automatic uh, water um, system is also going to be in place today. Just have to weld the steel tube from one cage to this cage. Um, and it's good to go, guys. So let's go. Super, super motivated energy. <laughs> Okay. okay, now we're going to put this accessory here that we made, this right here, okay, and this will go to another hose pipe, like that, let's go. Oh, this is going to be a bit hard to get in. <laughs> This one's not going to be easy. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can put this in here. I know the other one was extremely hard to do. Ah, oh, okay. I have to heat this up a bit. Maybe I'll need a lighter. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah. It just pops out. Let's fucking widen it up on the other direction. Okay, almost there. Oops. <laughs> Get it there. Get 
podcast. Just tighten this up. See if it's straight. Yes, very good. Just tighten it well. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, now gotta make a house part. Okay, now we put these two little accessories here. Okay, so this was quite a lot of work. Um, what? Oh, uh, the. Yes. Uh, oh, you think this is too long? Yeah. Mm. Might be right. This is gonna go like. Okay, I think I'll hang the drinking thing first. There you go, you can go that. It's like there. This under here, in here, just like that. If we believe I have little leakers, a little bit this in here. Okay, but now. Only one thing is that um, this could stay like over here. Yes, over here. Okay, just like this. Yes. There you go. It's all by gravity, so and it's control the height of it. Just want to support this like a bit more. There you go. Just like that. And now we open this. Yes. Okay, now what's. Now this is supposed to. Oh, it's all gonna take time to get here. From the. Yeah, that's why I wanted to open this here. Wait, wait, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, it's going yeah. to Okay, it's Look. Going to Here It's going to run. Yeah. Now let's see if it stops. Yeah. Stop. A little bit yeah, it stopped. So Can't it worked. Can't be told. Eh? Hey? Yeah, this is uh, aligned by itself. Yeah. The floor isn't isn't the level. Mm. But this is level. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Look how cool. Now it's it, it, it's still dropping it. over here. It's okay. got it completely stopped, right? Yeah. It stopped completely. Let's see. Unless there's like a default. No, okay, let's test it again. You gotta pick up all this uh, poo today. She put a lot. Let's see if it stops. Yes, fresh water all day long. No more. Yes, no more bucket, dirty buckets. Now she's got the the food. Yes, and automatic food. Now we just got to clean this up because it's got a lot of food because we're busy doing all this work. There you go, and it stopped. See? It still drips a little bit because it's got to get sufficient weight of water so that it stops, you know, and seals the membrane inside. And there you go. And then they can come here, drink, tuk 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 tuk. See? And the more they tuk tuk tuk. There you go. And the water's always fresh now. See? 
It's pretty cool. Very nice. No more having to put water in the no chicken. And now, and we got the the food, so we can fill the food, you know. And they always have food, so now it's ready to have the new chickens. Yes. What's this right here? Let me show you guys. I think you guys will. Most of some will know, some won't. So, see. And you just uh, nip on it. And this like inside comes out and this is so tasty it's really very tasty it's like a, a yellow pea bit then you put some um, bell pepper some pasta inside salt and water beautiful beautiful um we're also going to plant, plant this this turns into like a little tree it's like a uh, wild berry. It's so very tasty. This is um, passion fruit, but it's the banana passion fruit. This I'm really also going to enjoy planting. Let's see what we're going to be planting tomorrow. Um, actually, this right here, you can see it's this right here. <laughs> so yeah, we just plant this. This is a this is like a green pea, a giant green pea. Uh, like a giant green bean that stays flat like this and in a, in a roast a stew with some pork ribs beautiful so I have to start showing you guys what I do with all this stuff and this is sweet corn so we're going to plant all this tomorrow because my brother and a friend brought this from Madeira Island and yes we're going to get to it okay I'm really in handy the tent we had a lot of parties and suppers here um, this is really cool you won't always questions about this rock it's very good for the pots I can tell you that um, everything's looking great open the gates strawberries are going I have to start planting see if there's more roots and start putting them into the ground so we can expand them the ones that were in the ground there you go check it out got a new strawberry plant one two this was also gonna go I have to make a little hole here tomorrow three okay which isn't still attaching onto the ground but it's got the little root there just gonna put it like that and four yeah we have planted four to the next pot so we finally have we got to clean up the weeds and cut the grass again been so busy doing the working on the greenhouse watering system so you guys already knew that we put the tank um, but we still didn't have the hose pipe for the chicken water supply so now we do our welder that steel tube which you saw previously in this video uh, put the tube across inside the steel tube and went across to the chicken. I'll show you just now and The water system so um, gravity wasn't enough. Of course, it's too low the tank should have been much higher But I can't go very high with this So um, I put a water pump today inside um, Actually this water pump is cool because it comes with the hose attachments already outside Then you just hook on another hose but it comes with accessories and everything um, then I put another piece of hose pipe and it comes with this tap as well Okay, which is quite cool really comes with this tap as well um, So Then put another hose pipe through here. I just have to cut it and I'm going to use the water system right here So I test it and this method covers this whole rectangle and doesn't like spill um too much water outside so that there's not like a waste of water you know so that's really cool we have a huge watermelon not huge but it's almost, it can fit in the palm of my hand already you know <laughs> that's the other one there the other tiny one that was there um, someone stepped on it and cracked it as you can see the plant is I think it's over um, this one's still going. No one stepped on this one yet. 
so let's see what happens i think this one's still going to give me one or two watermelons um the melons are growing okay the bell peppers as you can see right there okay quite cool they all grow i'm just waiting for the melons to start popping out still waiting for them to like come outside they haven't come outside yet i don't see any melon yet just flowers maybe gotta wait a little longer bell peppers are coming out the basil quite amazing i've never had a basil that's uh, grow so big um the gem squash i don't know why it's still not gems the gems um sorry not gems the little pumpkin still aren't out uh i don't have a clue i don't even know if it's gonna give i'm just gonna have to wait and see because with this length of the plant there should be a really little pumpkins you know and i just see flowers so i don't know what's going on it's got enough water it's got enough sunlight so i'm not quite sure maybe it wants more sunlight i don't know but now it's getting heat it's hot days you know it's been very hot it's actually hard to work outside but i've been doing it because whatever i promise on the videos i like to do you know um so the lettuce we've been eating plenty uh, that's one we can't eat anymore so that's going to go for compost or for the chicken because she likes it um it's too tall you see the other ones are good so we're going to eat another two tomorrow and the rest are all in good ways of eating okay they aren't overgrown um we got eggplant there and they're quite big so yes tomatoes they're excellent we've tasted one today beautiful taste it's just so worth it i just regretted like getting this all planted and having to work in here was highly stressful because it wasn't easy so um this was actually a difficult job um very hot outside and just to make it work you know um as quick as possible was not was not easy at all so it's finally done happy tomorrow we just have to cut this hose pipe and then i'm going to show you guys how to switch this on electronically with the remote okay and put it in the electro valve because when you suck the water with the water pump what happens when it switches off the water pump um there's still like a suction through the hose like sucking through a straw in a paper uh, milk cart you know those small boxes or juice box and you just give it a, like a push through and then it just keeps on flowing you know so that's exactly what's happening so if i open the tap right now even though it's off there's still um, water will just keep on coming out you know and then all the water goes from the tank we don't want that so i'm going to shut off the with an electro valve the water and the water pump at the same time so that will be cool i'll show you guys how to hook that up tomorrow um let me show you guys how to stay in the kitchen show you guys how it stays let's see <laughs> mom's here pulling out the weeds so we brought the the pipe water pipe is going through the steel tube through the sleeve all the way to, with the sleeve you know so that it doesn't catch too much heat or cut by mistake because i want to make sure that chickens always have water and there you go automatic water supply just like i showed you guys previously in the video um, but i want to show you the whole way through you know so chickens are good to go uh, the water here is always quite is always cool okay i tested it out and it doesn't stay warm um, because it's always flowing you know she comes here drinks and it's always in the shade and the fact that it's in a sleeve helps a lot even inside the steel tube i put the sleeve it has a blue and a red because the red one finished um this is always in the shade so yes much much better system than what it was and i should have done it earlier <laughs> but i didn't have the garden ready i didn't have the chicken palace ready so now we're ready to get some chickens i still haven't found them 
um, but it's actually a good thing because like that I know that I have water supply and food supply for the chickens proper you know I've got proper beds I'm going to make some mini ramps so that they can go on top and in there as well wooden work ramps make like two for each side that's very easy so yes and the grass I didn't cut it because I know when I put new chickens they're going to love to like pick on all this grass you know and get the little bugs on the grass so that's a big update <laughs> tomorrow you guys will see this working with the remote which will be very cool okay um, I was going for an easy way just use water but I had to it got more complicated and we had to go through a water pump and um, go more in the electric side the good thing is that I already have the pipes for all the electric um, cables already got the 220 volts cable okay for plugs and everything else and uh, for the lights we'll go through the red one um, because maybe I need two cables of lights through the red one and but uh, I'll also pass the cable for the lights I'm so uh, tomorrow get some plugs in here two plugs maybe switch on that light i'm still not sure i see if i have cable um if i don't maybe i'll just boot it because i'm going to boot distribution boxes so maybe i'll just get that light on already um and show you guys a very easy installation system to uh, boot on water pumps with remotes and uh, also switch on and off electro valves for the water so that's it guys very happy the only thing we need to do next is fix those walls there which I already got the posts up high and I just have to put the cement blocks and then start on the swimming pool that's the last thing on the garden so we'll do some planting tomorrow and then next project will be doing some painting do that steel plates to cover that wall that I talked about in the beginning of the videos um, of the channel and um, then start the swimming pool start doing the foundations you know and get all that together uh, sorry get that all together because <laughs> that will be a hefty job so yes we're going to plant some more seeds outside some will be in others will be out because I always want to leave this for things that don't grow too much that's the idea have more variety in here um, and outside plant as a season stuff you know so I'm going to start planting across the wall there because um, there's a lot of space across that wall and it's not too far I don't want to plant too much there because that's more for like trees you know this side over here is more for like trees okay because I don't want to be cutting the sheets for everything because it's going to have white stone um, but I am also going to plant over on that side as well so I'm going to plant the, maybe the wild berries over there and plant some corn over there and the other ones that make like a bush over there. So yes, tomorrow we are here. Let's go. <laughs> Okie dokie. So got all the tools we need. Um, I'm starting to boot the electricity pipe. Okay. Uh, got double layer in here. Gonna do the same to the red one because I'm gonna put wire, not cable because I don't have cable, <laughs> but I have a lot of wire. So I'm gonna put here a distribution box for the for the plugs and a distribution box for the lights. Okay, somewhere over here, on, right next to it. Um, and then I'm gonna pull out a cable. Okay, so I can then put another distribution box for the automatism system. Okay. I'm going to close it all inside a distribution box um, this plug is going to get out of here this one was badly uh, switched on lights with plugs you can't do that so I'll take the lights out and then I'll bring the a light cable just for the for the light over there if it still works I'm still going to use this one until it packs up and then I'll put a LED one okay because uh, maybe it will even work I'm not sure let's see what happens so this is it guys uh, I tramped this jam squash over here by mistake of course the more careful I am the more I'm tramping the vegetables so don't do this while you have vegetables it's very hard 
I'm almost falling just to try not to tramp them. <laughs> uh, that's why I haven't planted anything else this week. Um, because I have to really finish this first. So I've got all my tools here. And uh, let's go. Then I'll show you guys I've done a different adaption on the tap outside. I had to put another tap. So yes, I want to get this done today. Wrap up this video. Because I have different content that I want to get on on the next video so I can't mix it with this one so let's go let's go okie doke everyone so here's the cable of the water pump okay and the water pump is coming out of the output of the, the remote so this is the remote controller right here if I can get some light no I can't so that's the remote controller it's just the normal input and output, okay. Um, so the water pump, I use these um, these adapters because it's much easier. And uh, the electro valve is 24 AC, so I had to use a transformer um, from 220 to 24. All, all distributed through these connectors. So the water pump's coming on here. This is from the output. Okay, so when I switch with the remote, this will switch on the water pump. It will deliver 220 to the transformer, okay? And it will output of the transformer 24 AC into the electro valve, okay? So that's the way so that we can make the water stop or else the water will just keep on flowing. Um, we also got here, yeah, I already bit the, the 220 distribution box this is the main box okay from the greenhouse the entrance and these are the lights okay because this um, this diameter of the wire has to be thinner than the one for the plugs okay 2.5 uh, this is 1.5 and uh, this is for the lights which I'm going to see if I can uh, if it's still working or else I'll just get a new floodlight and uh, that's about it okay so got everything super insulated everything according to what it's supposed to be even got the ground on the transformer there everything okay all is good so let's go now i'm just going to connect these three wires here the floodlight is already connected with the wire the cable i don't know if it's going to work let's hope so and um start closing up so all waterproof all appropriate stuff um, this box wasn't waterproof but I made a little membrane with some silicone I'll show you guys just now it's gonna close up this one here there you go super quick because these are super easy should always buy the same boxes you know when I like one but what can you do sometimes you just keep on using and then you don't have you buy in another shop it's always like uh, you know <laughs> improv is <a> improv <laughs> always improvising okay so just gonna connect this I couldn't videotape the whole thing because I had to do the work because I have no one to form for me but I think you guys got it right water pump remote okay 220 from the main distribution box into the remote input outputs to these connectors the water pump go to the connector straight okay the electro valve because it's 24 volts ac we had to use a transformer so from these connectors i put it into the inputs of the transformer and the transformer gives me an output of 24 volts ac into the electro valve okay like that when I switch on the remote because the, rem the remote controller okay um, is what's feeding the transformer and the water pump so as soon as I switch on the button everything switches on and then everything switches off and this will stop the water from keep on flowing through suction of gravity okay and I think you guys got it so I just have to put all the covers in and we're going to test this out okay so as you can see oh so zooming in just made my own little silicone membrane this is a very soft silicone used for gaskets and uh, like that when I tighten it up it's 
will give me insulation against water and everything because it's IP54 so you just got to make it yourself you know because I didn't have another box and this had to be today done <laughs> so it's the same thing it will work the same really kind of, um, you let it outside it's a gaskets one it dries up becomes hard to the touch so it doesn't stick you know if I take this lid out again I always have that um, gasket inside you see so I'm not sticking the lid to the box that is very really dry that's a gasket that you make with the liquid compound okay okay and <laughs> make as if I was gonna get a shock <laughs> so everything is connected um, just have this plug here because I might need it just to do some testing stuff and um, yes we're using this box just to distribute everything all the circuit boards are inside um, the buildings like that it's easier to access in case there's a short circuit or whatever that has to be outside because um, then it gets too confusing you know and that's the best way so everything's good everything's connected and uh, very easy to do this is all waterproof uh, it's appropriate for outside so very easy I just have to now finish this cementing this and uh, make like a cover over here on this side you know so that's water never pours direct on it and yes very easy to do as long as you just follow all the proper rules we online you can find all the knowledge for electrician um, innovations you know <laughs> Okay, so let's go test it out. Okay, so to switch this on, the little tiny manual. Where is it? Uh, let's get the English. The channel is all in English. Let's see. Here we go. So press and hold one button until turn on. Release this momentary mode, toggle mode. Two times and no. Press the learning. Release the button. This relay will turn off. Press and hold one button. Relay will turn on. Release the button and it will turn off. No. We want latched. You press one. Turn on. Yes. You want just one button to switch on and off, or do you guys want two buttons for on and off? One off, on off, on. The same one, or you want A on, B for off? A on, B for off. Okay, so we'll go for. We will go for latched. Okay, now to get latched, press the learning button three times. Wait three seconds, and then press A. And the learning button over here. The learning. Oh, on the receiver. Okay, so I've got to open up the the box again. Okay. So you press the button on the rim, on the controller inside the box, the distribution box. Three seconds, and then you press A for on, and then you press. Wait three seconds and then press B. So I press A, wait three seconds and then I press B. Okay, let's get this done. Let's get this done. Okay. So let's open up here this box again. I'm just gonna pause it quickly. Okay, so here's the learning button. So I press the learning button. Oh, I need to get the remote ready. Let me get the remote ready. Okay, remote. Now, learning button, three seconds. Ah, there you go. You see, that's the little learning button right there. And then you've got to press A for on, B for off. Okay. On, off. Okay, now, on. And we don't want to get wet. <laughs> That's why it's cool to have a remote. I won't get wet. <laughs> okay, so we got everything done. See, so I switch on the remote and the water switches on. So now we got 
electric watering automatic with remotes I didn't want to use timers because I never know what time I'm going to water the the greenhouse so I prefer using the remote then it's easy to put a timer I can just put a little miniature timer inside the box over there um, the floodlight is also working which is cool but there you go <laughs> yeah okay and I left the screwdriver outside and this is rubbish I'll leave these zip ties there in case I need them and this is actually cool because you regulate the angle you want you see so I calculated so that it's a gift for this rectangle exactly like that it's the easiest way to do this we have lights flood lights is working which is cool like that at night if someone passes by it will switch on hopefully I'll test it out um, so and now the water is pumping in the tank because the level dropped so it's a real cool system you know it's just to make everything easier it's got enough water so I'll just close it here and I put a double adapter here so that I can use for this hose pipe and uh, have an extra in case I want for a bucket or like that so I don't know we have to take this out so I've got all these safety won't open and let you latch this like that like that the kids can't open it by mistake I can even put like safety stuff there zip tie yeah, or something yeah. like that and this hose pipe I'm going to connect it to that hose pipe to make it longer because um, I don't want to buy a bigger one like that I'll have 25 plus 15 so give me 40 meters okay um, and 40 meters is quite sufficient for what I need so yes uh, a lot of work but it's worth it because now you can just come here you know and because when it's raining and this remember this is going to be all shut because it's going to be a greenhouse so it's going to be all shut from from the weather so if it rains outside I always have to water this so like that it's ready and uh, it takes some time to water the, the vegetables you know like that while I'm watering other stuff this will be watering itself and um, pretty cool <laughs> and how you all doing hope you're all doing beautifully uh, I sure am tired but doing beautifully and uh, let's test out our system today See if it still works you know but sometimes you do something it works fine and then the next day oh it's just life <laughs> then just get back on that horse and just keep on riding it till the road of success that's how it is okay so i've got the remote here and uh, let's see if this uh, this clicks on okay here we go okay Hmm. Okay, see, that's what I mean. <laughs> so now, why isn't it on? Hmm, could have been too empty, maybe. Oh, maybe the pump level. Yes, I forgot about that other safety. Um, the water pump does have like a um, how do you call it a switch okay um, once the level of the water goes down it switches off the pump so even if there's no water in the tank if someone ever like sees this video say what happens if the water drains out um, you got the safety also as the warp the pump won't continue to keep on working if the level's too low because the, the switch goes low and switches off so that might be the case I'll have to probably um, pull up the tank a little bit more I could leave the tank always open and just switch it off on the tap down there uh, yeah okay I'm gonna go on top there and check it out let's see I have to um, escalate this <laughs> okay uh, I think I'll escalate through there go on the top yes and we'll see what's going on okay switch off let's see it okay so let's get to it I think I will climb, I will climb. Yes, I, I said I was going to climb through here. Okay, let's go. Let's see if I can do this with my one hand. 
while I'm on the phone. Yes, that should be cool. Oh. Ah, okay. Now, I just have to get up on this steel ball. Okay. Okay, here we are. Yep. It's good to be agile. You know? Comes in handy when doing these type of things. I've been on top of here many times, so that's why I'm used to it, you know? Okay. But be careful when you do it, because you can hurt yourself very badly. Alright, so I guess I know what's happened. Um, you see, this only switches off when it reaches this higher point. So what has to happen is either shorten down this and be like a, a tie okay on the water pump switch so that it doesn't lift up so high okay or have to increase the level of the water because this is going on uh, it's switching off okay um it goes so slow that it has to go too high okay the float and I put it down, it's off. And now it switches on again, you see. So, but it's right at the top. Can you hear? Look. You see? So it's right at the maximum. So I'd have to increase more the water level, which I don't want to do because it's too much water. So um, I'll put a tie on the cable that is holding the the water pump floats so that it doesn't go so high okay I'll go down like like that you see and like that this is a safety system so that the water stops flowing in once it reaches the level and the water pump will always go on whenever I press the remote so it won't fail you see so I don't have to increase the water level so much so that the float goes on and off, you see. All we have to do is just decrease the the height of the float. So that's how it goes. So I have to put a, a, a tie over here and hold it like that. Um, I didn't clean the water tank so before because I wasn't sure all this was going to work. So now I'm going to switch off the tap that always lets the water flow in. No, I've been le leaving it on because I have the safety system floats here. Um, so that all the level goes down. And once it's the lowest possible, I'll bring the hose pipe um, and wash, give a, a brush, a wash to the tank. Because I have an emergency exit right there, down there. See that one? That's for the chicken. That one's right down there. So the chickens always above the dirt that's worth time can um, accumulate. Although I will always be attentive so, so that this is clean. But I always I always like to leave whatever's going to come out always above the, the limits, you know. So it's like 10 centimeters from the bottom. So there's no dirt going to the chicken. Don't worry guys. Right now, once the level goes very low, I'll brush this whole thing. Let the water, the dirty water, all out the exit. Hose pipe again, out the exit. Uh, Build it for buckets and use it for cement. So I'll be doing cement while I do that. Um, you know, just to use, not waste water. And then uh, let it fall up again. So I want to be having to come up here again, just one more time to wash it up. So let's put a tie here quickly. Okay, so um, a bit of zip tie there on the cord of the water pump float and as you can see now it's much lower than the water and um, I just wanted to switch off once it goes down and it switches on once it's lifted up you see if it comes too much here it's too close to the safety float of the water entrance you know that supplies the water tank so yes we'll test it out like this see if it doesn't fail anymore and then next step will just to be wash the tank I've closed the taps, once this water's gone, 
um, just by watering the greenhouse it goes uh, quicker than we think because um, you're watering the plant so it's just for the chicken to take ages <laughs> um, so yes so that's good get all cleaned up and ready for the future <laughs> okay guys let me get down <laughs> now we gotta go down again switch off and here we go down we go okay so i think i'll go down the other side yeah someone's calling me people are always calling me in the wrong moments <laughs> I'm gonna that like that while i climb down to this side like Tarzan. Okay, here we go. Okie dokie. And, oh, yeah. Ah, there we go. Not easy. Okay, let's test it out again. And on. And it's going to come outside a bit, so I better get out. And off. And on. And off. And on. Yes. Now we can go check out the chicken, see if it's also working well. Go check out the chicken, see if there's water. Everything's going fine. Check out the chicken, check out the chicken, 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 chicken. Let's see. I think I almost have a deal on chickens, people. Yuppie, that's what we good. I think we can finally. Wow, she. It's a lot of presents since the last. When is it? Yesterday. And water's there. Brilliant. Let's see. If the system is working, I'm just going to take this water out. And we'll just see if it fills up again. Okay. Let's see if it stops. Yes. So it just keeps so even when it evaporates. The chicken's been here because there's bits of food and dirt, so she's been drinking already. Uh, that's a good sign. Means she knows already. Chickens are actually smaller than we think, eh? Yeah, they have problems with chickens. They always know what to do. How to do their thing. She must be... Whoa. She left a lot of presents. Hey, little girl. What are you doing there? Are you just chilling? Almost going to get you a new family and friends. Okay? So just chill. Don't worry. Maybe this week... This will happen. Should be cool. I hope I can get this this week. Another video, more content. That should be cool. So at least now I was watering the greenhouse automatically. You know, I can uh, water the trees and other stuff, you know. So I was really needing that. And automatic water for the chicken. So I don't have to worry about watering the chicken, giving it water. So it's fresh clean water which is good um, that's very cool um, and the food you can just fill up that whole food supply so we'll give for like uh, a few days no problem and the wind took the plastic it's a bit windy today there's going to be a lot of lightning so it's going to be heavy thunder coming down Thunder, thunder, thunder. <laughs> I don't know if you can see songs on YouTube. Okay, uh, I have to do this better. You know, it's like the wind just push the whole thing down. Okay, so next video um, car contents. Um, it's gonna be this is done for now. Then I'll do the updates on the little other little things. Um, there's some a few more house improvement stuff, which I think you guys will also like. And uh, I'm going to go to a cool expo. It just has animals and it has reptiles. So I've got a lot of stuff. 
Let's go to bikes, reptiles, animals, agriculture stuff. Um, it should be cool right after this content because it's like garden and stuff like that. And uh, it's got a bunch of stuff dogs, whatever. It's got so many stuff. Nice food, uh, toy rides, a bunch of like tool stuff. Ugh, it's huge. So I think you guys will enjoy that. And that's what's coming up next. And um, stay tuned, guys, because more videos are coming. I'm sorry that I was a bit delayed on the videos because I was doing like all this work and preparing it and making sure everything worked. And uh, so now I'm just going to keep on more steady with the videos. Uh, I got to upload more videos a week. <laughs> so um, I'm going to see if I can get some help that someone can like video while I'm doing the stuff like that. I don't have to like um, do some stuff first and then video, you know. So that should be cool. So stay tuned, guys. And uh, see you on the next one. Out. Oh, thank you very much for all the support. 41 subscribers. I think it's 41. Unless it went down to 40 again. I don't know. <laughs> but thank you very much, guys. God bless you all. Out.